Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. A man lo e gunde for Oba Gye for Benin City Edo State. He say Oba Gye still the hot. They don't buy one person. Last week Saturday, he they show us some of the bullet what the person receive for body. Make I leave you now. Make you hear from a man lo e bogun. A warm good afternoon to you all my conscious Edo people. I remain no other person than New York's noble right activist, Comrade I. Bobo Emmanuel. Uh, this very afternoon, I am in Obage community. Obage no Kaipo community in Ubaoka local government area of Edo State along the popular Binia Braka Yungwedi axis of uh, Bini City. And something very tragic happened last Sunday. In this very scene, where I'll be taking you guys around to see what some group of young men who, you know, uh, enjoy this community rustling, who have decided to ensure that uh, uh, this battle of the gun display of uh, uh, terror so, so and uh, all forms of, what I call it, uh, war, native warlike activities. Focus on me, please. Uh, at this very chair you're seeing here, we just put up a flat foot first. Mm, first huh? Let it call him. Please don't talk around. Uh, a warm good afternoon to you, all my conscious Edo people. I remain no other person than yours, number right activist. It's been a sunny uh, Thursday evening, and I'm here live at uh, Obagi Nekoko community in uh, Bubaoka local government area along the ever busy Abraka, uh, Sapler Road, Upper axis of Benin City. And if you look just right in front of me, can you show this? You can see pillars. You can see expanded cartridges from uh, from uh, uh, den guns and barrel guns and pump action guns. You can see them here. And upon arrival, I discovered that there are lots of uh, damaged vehicles. See what I'm actually seeing here. There are a lot of damaged vessels. Uh, there's also a chair. I, I was told was where one of the young men who we were shot on that Sunday night, that fateful night. You can see the chair. Saturday Sorry, Saturday night. You can see the chairs. How it all happened. And if you go further again, come this way. You also see. Series of pillars. Yeah. So look, those are pillars much. You also see series of pillars. Series of pillars. You can also see another damaged vehicle. Just by the Lesion office and accommodation or baggage near Kaip Poro community, Bobaoka local government area. Of a dosage, you can see damaged vehicles also. You can see damaged vehicles, you know. You can see damaged vehicles here also. And uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, Legalities did happen here. A lot of illegalities did happen here. But very unfortunate. I would want to take you around for you to see for yourself before making some statements as to what uh, what actually transpired here. Keep seeing pillars all around. Yeah. See pillars, broken glasses, shattered glasses. You know. Yeah. All of this around. Now I want to take you to the place where the pieces were also fired. You 
planter filet all over. You can see filet. Moving in here is, is filet with extended cartilage all over. You can see those extended cartilages all over everywhere. I think it's like a wall zone. Extended cartridges, that are littered everywhere. You can see extended cartridges all over, everywhere. Now, if you look up carefully, you also see bullet holes on the roof of the house. If you look up carefully, you also see bullet holes on the roof of the houses. If you look very carefully, you see bullet holes. Now this is like a, an apartment where the community use to, uh, you know, do their security. The chairman. This is where the, uh, the chairman, this is like the community the town hall. Okay. This is where the Okage, the youth leader that represents the interest of the community on behalf of the Ojeon Way. This is where he lives. So if you look around, you can see some extended cartridges. I've, I've, I'm roughly counting over 300 live ammunition expended on, 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 on all corners of this. Uh, over 300. You can see some more littered everywhere. You can see some more littered at all angles. You can see some more littered at all angles. You can see, this is where they say the Okaigi they live. You can see killers all over everywhere. You can see bullet signs all over everywhere you can see. And I think despite the fact that despite the fact that this uh, despite the fact that this happened on Saturday and today happens to be Thursday, you can see see okay. uh, 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 blood signs and you can see AK forty seven. This is this is it. You can see expanded AK-47 here. I think without being told, you can see what transpired here. Somebody was pulled in a pool of blood out of this place. Somebody was uh, pulled out in a pool of blood out of this place. You can see some of this another pool of blood. You can see the louvers. You can see another pool of blood. This is also the bathroom, so you can see full of blood here also. Yeah. These are all plenty AK-47 bullets piercing through the wall. You can clearly see them piercing through the wall. You can see them. These are all plenty AK-47 bullets. Okay. Doors. These are these these are iron doors. You see, 
Absolut. Ja, om du var ägare. Ja, Let's see. This is where it's going to be. It's going to be for the community's body. So you can also see pillars on the louvers, every angle. You can also see these pillars. These are all pillars. These are all pillars. Windows out here on this other block of flats are also chattered. You can see them. You can clearly see that these are signs of AK 47. These are signs of serious pillars. These are signs of AK uh, for seven expanded cartridges. You can see expanded cartridges. You can see that there was rapid shooting on the roof. Bullet hole. You can see this is a pillar hole. You can see these are all pillar expanded cartridges of AK 47. These are all expanded cartridges of AK 47. You can see even if you look at the roof, you will see all forms of uh, reflection from the from the aluminium out, you know, the, the roofing sheets. They are all showing you the signs of uh, pillar holes and bullet holes. You know, you can see. I just want you to see that these guys came in here with AK-47 rifle. These are not the uh, barrel guns or these are not uh, pump action guns. These are clearly AK-47 rifle. These are clearly signs of shooting. This is clearly AK-47 rifle that was shot here. Clearly AK-47 rifle that was shot here. Clearly AK-47 rifles that was shot here. You can see them even up to the wall. They are also AK-47 rifles. That was shot here. This is also the pillar of an AK-47. You can see the lovely blocks. You can see. You can see these are all signs of uh, AK-47 in the roof. Now I want to show you the the general view as I was walking in of what has transpired. As you see, pillars right inside the house. These guns were shot inside the house. It was shot right inside the house here, and you've seen what it was like. I see pillars all over everywhere. You can okay. At this point, you can also see 
what the shooting look like roof. at the rooftop. Yes, the rooftop. You can you can see you view the big hole. Yeah, you can, you can mm -hmm. see what they did here. They were serious. Maybe I believe some persons were in the ceiling trying to get some level of uh, coverage, and they decided to use the pillars to to chase them. If you look around, you can also see series of uh, extended cartridges. Series and series of extended cartridges. You even up to this uh, building also, show the roof. You can see that uh, so the serious shooting that occurred here. You can see the, the mirror of the louvers of the window. lost his life at this very spot just behind the fence you can see the fence you can see what transpired there you can also see let's look at the back here these are all expanded cartridges everywhere expanded cartridges everywhere you can see these are all expanded cartridges <coughs> everywhere oh, talk to me Oh, I want to talk about Yes, yes. Uh, just as I earlier said, today remains uh, Thursday, the 9th of uh, December 2023, and I'm right here at uh, Obagi Nekoko community in the Tobalka local government area of Edo State. And if you have seen what has transpired here, you will see that this was more of a war front. What transpired here was more of a war front than any other any other situation what transpired here was more of a war front so i'm using this medium to call on the industry government to call on the Inspector general of police to call on the commissioner of police to call on the area commander in charge of this uh, area to ensure that the unravel what transpired here it is it is very very unfair that this is what our big communities are turning into uh, from information available to me over eight persons lost their lives in this in this in this uh in this uh, 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 uh place and even a lady was shot on her breast she secured several injuries here also so what is expected is that we want the government to come to their aid to come and ensure that what transpired here is unraveled. Thank you. Well, to my conscious of those people, you can see this is five days after this ugly tragedy occurred on Saturday, on a Saturday on the first week of uh, December. I got here and I shed tears because I know whoever was taken away from here can never survive this. You can look very closely. What killed these persons are AK-47 pillars. These are not barrier guns or uh, pump action. These are clearly AK-47. Clearly AK-47. So. That is it. You can see what this is all about. So, it's so, so, so sad. I'm going to show you the picture of the young man who lost his life here shortly. So you can, you can see it. You can also see 
blood stains. Blood stains here also complete. You can also see some blood stains. Some of the some stains of them of injury on this spot. So strategic, so 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 sad. Cut it. No. Yes, uh the other here is very offensive. And uh, if you look very carefully, you see pellets. You see pellets from here. What we gathered is that uh, the information we gathered here is that uh, the young man you saw on that picture that had his intestine out, that had his intestine out, was this was where he fell down and died. And uh, you can see pellets all over. You can see pellets all over. So. You're going to be seeing the pictures live now. So you can see pillars all over here. It's so, so pathetic. So pathetic. Oh. So more. So more. Hey! So more. Where are you now? The boss. See, they're not caught, caught all over again. A warm good afternoon to you all my conscious Edo people. I remain no other person than your noble right activist, Comrade I Bobu Emmanuel. Uh, looking at the video you just watched, I want to say that this picture of the young man you're seeing, popularly known as Austin Awotu, aka 99, who is a professional, in fact, a notary personality in carrying out this malicious invasion, destruction, and continuous taking of human lives across the state. Very well, the code goes that he will by the gun will definitely die by the gun i want to believe that uh, nemesis have caught up with him despite the fact that his bodies are still lying pending in the, the morgue where he was deposited and since after the deposition of his uh, uh, body in the morgue i think those persons who invited him to obage nepoka nepoku community in uh benisa player braca road have, will I say, been arrested, one of them, who have also been making useful information to the police. Uh, let me also say at this junction that the three bodies you saw that were killed are members of the community who lost their lives that fateful night while carrying out their activities in their own community. Let me repeat, the names of these persons are Gospower Johnson, Anthony of Bede and Small Osas. They are natives of Obagi Nekoku community. And I want to lend my voice with that of their families to demand justice from the Ogo State government over the activities of Ostinawutu, aka Naina, that led to the death of this person. Alongside, we all know that Osinawotu would not have gone to that community if he was not invited by some natives of the community who wants to seize power of Okaige leadership from the communities, uh, the current leadership, to what they believe is best for them. Now, for my investigations and findings, a lot of names have been mentioned, but I think these five names will go a long way uh, to tell the world what really transpired on that said uh, December 3rd at Obage Nekoko community, one of which is Sunday Awemedi, Jude Ihogama, Agama David, Osamui Simba, Monday Irene, Saturday Omorugi and Ezekiel Mehigato. These are the names of these young youths who 
have been mentioned and i think the police have gotten wind of this and i expected that uh, this person should be declared wanted or rather invited to the police station to come and say what they know let me at this juncture call on our executive governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Nogegasi Obaseki, the chief security officer of the state, to say that the activities of these young men should be largely condemned by the Edo State government. These people are invaders, these people are promoting a warlike activity in Benin City at those states. As I speak to you, there are activities where they employ nine nine cut across many communities. But God willing, some of you know that I have been advocating that the government look into it and to an extent with your private property protection law, a little bit has been done on it. But we still need more to be done. When I mean more, more needs to be done. Secondly, 99 was never working on his own. Information available to me is that he's working with highly placed persons in government. And if the government is serious, we are ready to also mention those names to them so that they can actually investigate what the activities is. Uh, it takes us pain and uh, wealth of uh, diligence, activism to pull all of this out and get to unravel what has really transpired. I had come out on March, uh, sorry, on April uh, 14th. Before that, I had come out on December 20, 14th, uh, 2022. I had come out on February uh, 14th, February 16th, 2023, on series of protests to the Adjusted Government House, inviting some persons so that they can ask them why they are carrying out these activities in particularly uh, Ubiaza community. But the matter was not given the desired attention that uh, it ought to have gotten. And these persons are still walking freely in the streets. In fact, the other day they saw me somewhere and they accosted me. And it took the intervention of the military who arrested me and later released me over some other issues relating to community related crisis. I want to say to you that a lot of people now call me the Okaigele activist. It is basically because these are warlike crimes and I decided on my own to also find out what the true picture is and draw the necessary attention of government to the plight of our people. Agreed, the government of the day have come out in several four hours after executive uh, chamber meeting and security meetings to say that homicide is on the rise. This homicide, even if it is court related, 90% of it can be uh, linked to all this community crisis in Benin City. So therefore, I decided to pick up my pen and my phones to look into this and I'm getting all the necessary information. I think obvious. A group of young men are out there, they are enjoying the backing of highly placed persons in government and they are doing all of these crimes, killing people, maiming people, destroying properties, taking over co co community administration forcefully. They have done that in several communities and they seem not to be seen as criminals but rather they are now seen as people who are carrying out law abiding activities whereas we know that is not the case let me also at this junction say a few words to our real majesty that some highly placed chiefs in the palace are also uh, giving their voice and their support to some of these criminal elements who are using all means available to them to seize the administration of communal activities. I don't know if this is uh, for political gains, I don't know, but I know a lot of persons have been fingered and if the government and the traditional institutions are willing to know, I'll also be willing to speak. 
my intentions are very clear even if people come out to call me all sort of names i want the government to stop this it is bastardizing the rich heritage of we the Bini people let me at this junction say that the names of these persons who have been mentioned should be investigated and the police should also stop at uh, investigating just the culprits their sponsors they are highly pleased in government i can say we know them and we'll be willing to share information with government if they can protect us i've also come out to say my lives are under threat i've written to the governor my excellency and i also want us to know that this is far beyond politics it is about society and also let the government know that uh, despite the fact they have limited time they should also see what they can do to create jobs the sole reason why our youths are into these things are basically because they are jobless there are no jobs for them so i want to at this juncture also implore the government while you are also stopping it we should also create an avenue to see that it's totally eradicated from our society once again this is just one out of the many i'm only doing this video because one of the major kingpins who is well armed and who is well funded lost his life in obagene boko community and i believe the police have also been looking for this person this series of petitions have been written across the country over various degree of crimes relating to community crisis in the state so i want the police to do what is necessary to unravel the nemesis or the acts behind this growing trend of community rustling i've been taken to court by some persons who support this uh, i've been arrested and charged for murder by some persons who act this and i also want to say that the government wants the truth to be out they should call me and i'll say all i know that can help them to get rid of all of these criminals that are currently living freely in those states once again i remain another person that just no good activist from the guide movie manuel bye for now this no be the first time where them use gun shoot person for oba gear now when this fight with them the fight for oba gear go finish let us know what you think for comment session as you don't hear from Emalu Agbogun. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video, make you help or share them. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.